Whoa. Lost them. See here. Above the sun.io. Above the sun.io. Hope everybody's doing well. You luminators, you juggernauts, you're powerful and unstoppable. What do you say we do a little um, musing on uh, some uh, BTS, some below the sun news? Quick highlights that jump out at me. And uh, yeah, we'll look at the markets real quick. And uh, maybe muse uh, on the hot brain. Just talk about that for a quick second. Anyhow, let's see. Um, let's. Uh, oh, yep, we got some big news. Well, this was from really on Friday. I think I jotted this down. Now China claims it's tracking unidentified object over Port City. Now China is jumping in on the trend. Apparently, as authorities in China say they have spotted and are tracking an identified object over waters near the port city of Jingdao. Probably got that wrong, but it's all good. Scant details have been given, but the claim was briefly detailed in Bloomberg on Sunday, with the publication saying authorities are preparing to down the object. You know, I just... Uh, I suggest just looking up more often, you know, relationship, relationship, relationship. Systemic racism makes animals abandon black neighborhoods, researchers say. White neighborhoods have greater abundance and diversity of animal life. And Canadian researchers say racism, racism is to blame. Has anybody thought about asking the animals and how they feel about it? U.S. military recovery of unidentified object downed over Alaska faces severe conditions. The U.S. recovery effort of an object that was shot down over Alaska last week faces severe weather conditions according to weather forecasts. The object was shot down on February 10th by an F-22 fighter jet near Dead Horse, Alaska located near the Canadian border. The U.S. Northern Command said, recovery operations continue today near Dead Horse, Alaska. U.S. Northern Command said in a statement to news outlets Saturday, we have no for further details about the object, including its capabilities, purpose, or origin. All righty then, Idaho, Alaska. Little human here. They don't know nothing about nothing, really. NORAD commander can't rule out aliens after identified objects shot down. On Sunday, the head of NORAD, North American Aerospace Defense Command, said that the Pentagon can't rule out that a spate of unidentified objects shot out of the sky over the past week might be extraterrestrial in nature. I'll let the intel community and the counterintelligence community figure that out. I haven't ruled out anything, said U.S. Air Force General Glenn Van Herc, who oversees NORAD during a Sunday press briefing at the Pentagon. At this point, we continue to assess every threat or potential threat unknown that approaches North America with an attempt to identify it. I don't know about you, but I see aliens all the time. So there you go. One more. Marty the robot escapes a giant food store. Customers at a giant food store in the Lehigh Valley area of Pennsylvania witnessed the moment when a robot to improve in-store efficiencies strolled off the job and into the parking lot. Huh. A viral video published on Facebook shows Marty a robot with big googly eyes escaping. The robot eventually had to be pushed back inside by an employee. Marty escaped the Hellertown giant and almost made it to freedom before he was wrangled back to his grocery prison. The video's description said, Hey, what about Marty the human? The tall gray human is equipped with multiple cameras and scanners, patrolling aisles for out-of-stock items. There was no exp explanation of why the human glitched and tried to escape. All right, I'll stop. No, I won't, but I will for today.
All right, let's do a screen share. Let's see what's going on in the markets. All right, here we go. String screen share. Where are you, Boston? See you right here. Do the deal. Show boom. All right, markets are up a little bit. Yeah, inflation rose a half a percent. Do you really believe it? Hmm. Yeah, we've all been feeling it. That's okay. Dad's got it. He's unraveling some stuff, undoing some things, bring some new things in. So just, yeah, just be uh, judicious about the resources that you have. Keep them safe, first and foremost. And then later you can figure out how to how to grow grow the balance, right? Anyhow, markets are up a little bit. Oh, look at that. Nikki Haley enters race for president. I like Nikki. I don't know a lot about her. Um, I'm not having a go at anything because, you know, blue and red, it's all part of the uh, the corruption. But, you know, dad's dealing with all that stuff. So, you know, until you uh, we decide to fix the uh, the fraudulent uh, voting system, then, you know, yeah. So just stay above the sun. Uh, but we are aware of what's happening below the sun so we can make a difference. Right. And that's our deal. I think that's written on everybody's scroll, is it not? Markets are up. Look at bonds real quick. Up a little bit. How's oil doing? Down a little bit. How about gold, silver and gold? Oh, we're up. We're on a run. Good time to buy, though. Not worried about it. Once we get through the transition, it's not going to happen overnight. Tribe, you know, Lumi's, uh, I'm thinking to 2030, right? So we got a little bit of time. But it is a daily striving, overcoming, while we live in rest. Yeah. So there's, um, that's gold. What's crypto doing? What's the market cap back over a trillion? Oh, yeah. Did you know that uh, uh, as a country, we're almost paying a trillion in interest on the debt that we've owed for generations? This is where I go sideways a little bit. And I'm like, Lord, help me to help you help me. Yeah. <clears throat> so Bitcoin and Ethereum up uh, nice. The last 24 hours, Bitcoin up almost 3%. Ethereum uh, up over 5%. And again, that's, you know, not financial advice, but there's, what do we get? Yeah, 22,500 coins tried. 99% of them are not going to be around. So I'm sticking with uh, digital gold and silver, not financial advice. So there you go. So yeah, what else? Uh, that's good. Let's look at the chat real quick. The daily. This is the um, Bitcoin daily chat. So we are over here at uh, 22,300. We've got a break, uh, break over here, which is around 25. Then we got to get over here and break 32. And then we got to get to 40 and then to 48 before we get to the ski daddy 69,000 before we get back to new all time highs. And we will get there sooner than you think. Anyhow, so there's your crypto deal. We'll still have to share one last thing. Let's see. Let's share. This is a newsletter I did. Go to above the sun.io. Above the sun.io uh, under the blog section, you should see some of the Boston Sea stuff and some of the other team. Uh, Piper, Mississippi Sound, Noodle, and uh, Joy Jedi. Got a good team. Love those guys. They're awesome. So let me just read this real quick and I'll leave you with the thought of the day. Your heart brain rules over all other brains. So you know we have four brains, right? You got the head brain, you got the heart brain, you got the belly brain, you got the body brain. Just just work with it, all right? It's good. Just think about it, right? So the heart brain rules over all other brains, in my opinion. Last time I mused, Boston C, I mused around my head brain being where my soul gateways function. And if your shoe is... Um, Occupying the soul, we have the mind of Christ, the anointing, right? So that's that's the head brain. Your heart brain is to always be in a in a guided at rest state, as that's where the issues of life flow. 
I see my spiritual gateways as revelation, intuition, faith, hope, reverence, prayer, worship, and fear of the Lord occupying my heart brain. As a spirit being, take the light energy frequency you carry. Live in gateways of the heart brain and much shalom you will find. Yeah. Up and away. Tribe. Right? Up and down, to and fro. So good. Council of Sententia. I have enjoyed reading books on a more regular basis again. I realize that I am a book and have been reading myself daily. In fact, I am starting to enjoy what I am reading. So there's your little word for the day. Otherwise, Boston C is going to let you get back to your day of overcoming. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Stay in the way. As always, stay on the path. And until next time, we'll love you soon. Shalom.